In this video, we have two tricks for an intermediate to advanced beginner. At the end, I have put these tricks into a mini routine. So if you'd like to see those, stay tuned. Now I'll be breaking down each move into Potato Jam's pole dancing piece, which is just a guide I like to use to learn any new pole dance move. This first move is called a leg split. You don't need to know how to do the splits to do this move. Procedure. Basic steps to do the move. Grab the pole at about shoulder height with your inside hand. Lift your inside leg up around hip height and squeeze the pole behind your knee. Grab the pole with your outside hand just below your knee. Lean forward, lift your bottom leg off the floor and push your bottom leg back. And then straighten your top leg while pushing it into the pole. Regroup your top leg, lower your bottom hand until it touches the floor to slow down your spin. Release your bottom leg to touch the ground and slide to the floor onto your hip. Points of contact, where your body touches the pole. You'll be squeezing the pole tightly behind your leg and holding on with both hands. Your back knee will be squeezing the most as you lean forwards and take your bottom foot off the floor. It will be pressing into the pole once you straighten your top leg. Progressions. Exercises to build up to the move. You can start by dragging your bottom foot on the floor. Slowly lift it off the floor as you feel comfortable. Problems. Common challenges to getting the move. You are too close to the ground. This might be because your legs or arms are too low. Here I have set my leg up lower than hip height. You can see how it has made it harder to lift myself off the ground. Your leg will be at hip height or higher and your top hand will be no more and no less than shoulder height when you are standing to enter the move. You are sinking. This might be because your arms are too high. Here you can see it was hard for me to keep myself up. I ended up sinking just like this. You can't hold your splits. This is likely because your leg is not pressed firmly into the pole. The top leg is what will keep you up. To do this, keep your chest up and keep your chest away. This will help press your top leg into the pole. You fall out of the move. This may be because you are not gripping tightly enough with your top leg. Make sure to squeeze as tight as you can as you lean into the move and regroup tightly with your top leg before taking your bottom hand off the pole to land. Pizzazz. How to make the move look nicer. I like to really push my bottom leg behind me as soon as I lift off. This gives the illusion of a straight split. And this is a to die for move in the pole world. But don't worry, you do not need to have your splits to do this move. It's all simply an illusion. I also like the little touch of leaning my head back. Here are some fancy ways to land without looking like you have just fallen randomly. So the next trick is called a Nike tick. Procedure. Basic steps to do the move. Grab your inside hand around the pole at about shoulder height. Lift your inside leg around hip height up to the pole and squeeze the pole behind your knee. Grab the pole with your outside hand just below the knee. Sink your hips back as far as you can. Lean down and backwards keeping your chest away from your knees. As soon as your bottom knee contacts the pole, bend it around the pole. Straighten your top leg, bring your chest to your top knee and loosen the grip of your hands and bottom leg to land on the floor. Points of contact. 
where your body touches the pole. You'll be squeezing the pole tightly behind your leg and holding on with both hands. The back of your knee will be squeezing the most as you lean backwards. Your bottom knee will also help to grip when it's time to straighten your top leg. Your top knee will be pressing into the pole once you straighten it. You'll then be contacting the pole from the back of your knee all the way to the back of your ankle as you slide out of this move. Progressions. Exercises to build up to the move. I know leaning backwards into the move can feel scary, so take it slow. Keep your bottom leg on the floor for longer as you lean back. If you feel strong enough, then you can take that bottom leg slowly off the ground. And then the last step is to straighten your top leg. Problems. Common challenges to getting the move. You are falling too fast. This can happen if you bring your chest to your top knee too soon. Don't bring your chest to your top leg until you are ready to land. To help you do this, lean down with your chest so your arms are straight. Keep your chest away and the back of your knee pressing into the pole to hold this move. For a controlled and slow landing, keep your top leg contacting the pole ever so lightly as you slide down. You are too low to the ground. This can happen if you set yourself up too low. This will make it harder to lift yourself off the ground. Your leg will be at hip height or higher and your top hand will be no more and no less than shoulder height when you are standing to enter the move. You are sinking. This can happen if your arms are too high. It's hard to keep yourself up so you'll end up sinking just like I am here. Pizzazz. How to make the move look nicer. The faster you can transition from bending your bottom leg to straightening that top leg into a tick shape, the faster you will spin, which let's be honest looks pretty impressive. As you lean back into the move, quickly grip your bottom leg around the pole as soon as it touches the pole, then almost instantly straighten your top leg. I like to throw my head back into the move just to be a little dramatic. It can also give you nice spin momentum especially if you're on a static pole. As always, lean your head back as you hold the move for some extra style. Here are some fancy ways to land. It can be hard to land nicely with this move. I did have to experiment a little bit, but here are some of the ways I came up with for landing out of this move. Here's a short and sweet choreography featuring the leg split move.
Here's the same mini routine featuring the Nike tick move. 